Here's where it gets really cool. Same hand, picking up a paper cup, and now a heavy car part. How does it know not to crush the cup? These fingertips, they're made of this soft, squishy material, and they can actually feel. When the robot touches something, the fingertip squishes down. Sensors inside measure how much it's squishing, which tells the robot exactly how hard it's pressing. So when it touches that paper cup, it feels the resistance and thinks, okay, go easy. When it grabs the car part, it's like, all right, grip harder. It's real-time force feedback. The robot literally feels what it's holding and adjusts on the fly. And get this, if something starts to slip, the sensors detect it immediately and the robot tightens its grip. It's reacting faster than you could even process what's happening. Oh. These fingers can bend completely backward, like all the way. Your fingers can't do that. Mine can't do that. But Atlas, extra human flexibility. And unlike you and me, Atlas doesn't have a dominant hand. It's perfectly ambidextrous. Every single time it needs to grab something, its brain calculates, should I use left or right? Which one keeps me balanced? Which path is faster? Then it just picks the optimal hand for that exact moment. It's not thinking like a human. It's thinking like a computer with two identical tools. 